Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to Gate CSE 2018. The question is: Consider the following undirected graph G. Choose and choose a, a value of x that with that will maximize the number of minimum weighted span increase. Okay, so we need to get the maximum number of minimum span increase. The number of m w s t of graph G. For this value of x is so they are asking how many minimum span increase can be constructed for that particular value, right? Yes, the number of m yeah, w s t of graph G for this value of x is so how many we are going to construct is the question, right? Yes, so it's a quite easy question if you ask me. So let us start with value one, guys. So if the value of this x is one, so how many span increase can I construct? So I will be selecting that particular edge. Okay, after that I will select this particular edge. Okay, so after that I am forced to select this edge because that cost is a three. Okay, so after that from here I cannot select this edge or this edge, right? Yes. So here I am having an option to select this. I am having this one option and this one option. So in total, if x equal to one, the number of options are two. Similarly, moving on, if x value is equal to two, okay. So first I will take this particular edge. Okay. So after that I will be taking this edge. After that I will take this edge. Okay, then I am not allowed to take this. Not allowed to take this. So at max again, I am having only two options, either this or this. So even for two, also I am having two options. So now let us continue for x equal to three. Okay. Yes. So I think three, four, or five will be the answer, guys, mostly. Right. Yes. Okay. So if the value is a three, so initially I will be starting with this edge. Then I will take this edge and this edge. So this edge cannot be taken. This edge cannot be taken. So again, I am having only two options for this particular vertex. So the options are two. Okay. So now moving on to four. For x equal to four implies so. Firstly, I need I'll be taking this and I will be taking this. So I cannot take this. Okay, and the next minimum value is this, right? So I will be taking this. So again, I cannot take this. Again, here also I am having for this vertex only two options. So this also is two, right? Yes. So now I think five will be the answer then because here also we are having only two. Okay. Yes. So from initial cases we are getting only two, two, two. So now let us assume five as here, guys. Okay. So first, what I will take. Okay, so first I will take this particular vertex. Sorry, this particular edge. After that, I will take this particular edge, right? Yes. So from now on, I cannot take this particular edge, right? Yes. So now, how many options do I have, guys? So if you observe carefully, among these two, I can select one. Among these two, I can select one. So indirectly, if I select, so let let me give you the numbers. So one, two, three, and four, right? Yes. So one and two. Among these two, I should select one. Among three and four, I should select one, right? Yes. So if I select one, I can select three. If I select one, I can select four. Similarly, if I select two, I can select three. If I select two, I can select four. So in total, there are four different options in this case, right? Yes. Sorry, in this case at five. Okay. Similarly, let us try for six. So if it is a six, obviously you will select this first, then this. Then this cannot be selected. Then this will be selected mandatorily. This cannot be selected. At the end again, you will end up with two options. So indirectly, I can say that at the value of x equal to five, I will get a maximum of four MST. So they asked how many MST. So four MST will be there. So it's a quite straightforward question. The only thing is you should visualize the things, guys. That's the only thing here. Okay? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.